Hello and welcome to ESL Advice English Lesson. In today's video, we will learn how to talk about your culture in English. To get regular English lessons, exercises and quizzes, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified. Now, let's move to the lesson. You can focus on different aspects of your culture, including language, family structure, social beliefs and practices, religion, arts and literature, food habits, education, politics, economic system, and the way of life as a whole, while talking about your culture in English. Culture is someone's core identity representing their collective way of life. Whatever you do and how you see different things is your culture. So, while talking about culture, you can bring up many things. Talking about your native language. Language is the fundamental element of culture. It is an essential characteristic of one's cultural identity. Therefore, whenever someone talks about their culture, language comes first, then the other elements of culture. Examples I was born in Bangladesh, and we speak Bengali there. Spanish is my mother tongue. Though I can speak English, my mother tongue is French. I am a native speaker of Arabic. Talking about family structure in your culture. Family structure is the combination of relatives who live together as a single entity. Family structure is fundamental to understanding a culture. From the beginning of humankind, there were two kinds of families, patriarchal and matriarchal. In a patriarchal family, the father or the male elder is the ultimate decision maker, whereas, in a matriarchal family mother or woman is the key decision maker. However, nowadays, both male and female members are given equal importance in families in the developed world. These days, family structures significantly depend on the number of members and their relationships. In the USA, there are different kinds of family structures. Extended family consists of father, mother, and their children, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and cousins. Grandparent family consists of grandchildren and no parents present in the intervening generation. Nuclear family consists of parents and children. Same-sex family consists of children raised by two mothers or two fathers. Single-parent family consists of a parent and one or more dependent children. Step family consists of at least one parent having children without any biological relation to their spouse. The above structures are also common in other countries, especially nuclear and extended ones. Now let's see how you can put them in sentences. Examples I was raised in an extended family. The nuclear family is the typical family type in my country. In Bangladesh, we usually don't have a same-sex family. Talking about beliefs and practices in your culture. Social beliefs and practices are usually unwritten rules that people of a specific culture follow. Such traditions help create a comfortable atmosphere in society. Those beliefs and practices vary from culture to culture. In modern developed countries like the USA, marriages are cultural practices determined by choice of a man and woman. All the family members are not necessarily exclusively involved. In India, marriage is a relationship between two families. Therefore, it is done through negotiations on different issues rather than merely on love between a man and woman. In European countries, you will find that men and women are traveling on the same bus. Maybe one is sitting beside another even if the other seats are vacant. Think about Bangladesh now. Even a few years back, besides combined buses, there were individual buses for men and women. Even in combined buses, there are reserved seats for women. In addition, if there are vacant seats, a woman in Bangladesh usually doesn't sit next to a man. Note, the examples I have mentioned are not rules written in the constitution, but they are believed to be rules practiced by the majority. Examples in our country, we don't believe in individualism. We live hand in hand. In my culture, men and women get equal rights. We live with our parents even after our adulthood. Talking about religions in your culture. Religion is a determining factor of culture. 
Many cultures are structured with religious beliefs and practices. For example, Arab countries are governed by Islamic laws. If the majority of a society believes in the same religion, the culture naturally adopts different practices of that religion. Religion is a very sensitive and powerful force in our lives. Therefore, we should be respectful of everyone's beliefs or faith. So, while discussing religion, ensure you don't hurt anyone's religious ego. To talk about religions in your culture, you can share whether people are religious, spiritual, atheist, agnostic, etc. You can also talk about places like mosques, churches, temples, etc., where people go to pray or worship. In addition, you can talk about religious leaders like imams, priests, pastors, etc. Different types of people based on their religious beliefs. Agnostic, people who believe that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God. Atheists, people who don't believe in the existence of God or gods. Omnist, people who believe in all religions. Religious, people who believe in a specific religion. Spiritual, people who believe in the human spirit or soul instead of material or physical things. Some places for different religious practices. Mosque, a Muslim place of worship. Church, a Christian place of worship. Pagoda, a Buddhist place of worship. Temple, a place of worship commonly used by Hindus in the East. Synagogue, a Jewish place of worship. Prayer leaders of some common religions. Islam, Imam. Buddhism, Lama. Christianity, Pastor. Hinduism, Pujari or Parawat. Judaism, Hazan. Name of the most popular religions. Buddhism, one of the world's prevalent religions that believes meditation, spirituality, labor, and good behavior are the ways to get rid of suffering and achieve enlightenment. Christianity, the most popular religion in the world that believes in the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Hinduism, the world's oldest and third most popular religion that worships a single deity, Brahman, but still recognizes other gods and goddesses. Islam, the second most popular religion in the world that believes in the submission to the will of God, Allah. Judaism, the world's oldest monotheistic religion that believes in one God who revealed himself through ancient prophets. Now, let's see some sentences that you can use to talk about your religion. Examples. I am a Muslim, and almost 90% of the people of my country are Muslim. I came from a Christian family. Christianity is the most popular religion in my culture. Durga Puja is my county's most celebrated religious festival as most of the population is Hindu. Talking about arts and literature in your culture. Talking about your arts and literature allows you to represent your culture's history and aesthetic value. In addition, it will help you give people a better understanding of your culture as they are all about your cultural history in the forms of painting, drama, music, poetry, photography, novels, etc. Talk about the prominent and popular literary and artistic pieces and any genres of art and literature that are common to your culture but not others. You can also talk about famous artists, writers, poets, and painters of your culture and their works. Examples. I am from the home of Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. Classical music is very popular in my country. Our Greek literature is enriched with different genres of literature. Talking about food habits in your culture. Food habits are one of the vital elements of one's culture. It includes the attitudes, beliefs, and practices surrounding food production and consumption. While discussing food habits, you can mention everyday items, the unique items popular worldwide, and other standard practices while consuming food. For example, Indians eat with their hands, whereas European people usually eat with spoons. Examples. In Bangladesh, rice is the staple food. Pizza originated in my country, Italy. I would love to invite you all to Japan to try authentic sushi. Talking about politics in your culture. 
Talking about politics is vital to describe your culture in English to someone as the politics of a country determine the way of people's life. However, while talking about politics, be mindful that you don't say anything that may hurt the political ego of the person you are talking to. You can talk about what the political system was in your country in the past and what it is now. For example, you may have heard communism earlier. Now, it's democracy. However, rather than saying what political system is good or bad, try to mention the existing system rather than judging the system. You can also talk about the parliamentary and voting systems as well as the rights and duties of the citizens. Examples We are the largest democratic country in the world. We have a semi-presidential government system in France. Communism is the political system in our country. Talking about the economic system in your culture. There are different types of economic systems, traditional, capitalist, or mixed. Some countries' economies may depend on agriculture, industries, tourism, fishing, shipping, export, etc. Examples Bangladesh's economy is considered as developing market economy. The economy of my country is agriculture based. We have a free market economy in Turkey. That's all about the ways of talking about your culture in English. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you still have any questions about today's topic, ask me in the comment box. You can also let me know on what topic you want me to make video lessons for you. For more lectures, visit www.eseladvice.com.